boys. So uh, we are in the town of Milford, Connecticut. We are fixing to pull into this travel plaza and uh, God willing to find a parking spot and take our 30 minute break. guys so uh we're here at the travel plaza right off of 95 north in uh milford connecticut and uh we're out here walking cane around letting him stretch his legs and use the bathroom or whatnot and then uh gonna burn up the rest of this 30 and uh, then we'll roll on. But uh, it's crazy. It's been a full house. Um, but we got lucky when we pulled in here. Went straight to a parking spot. So just going to let Kane do his morning duties. And uh, we're going to jump back in the truck where it's warm, boys. So uh, I'll be back with y'all here shortly. All right, boys. So... We have arrived at our shipper about an hour ago or so. Uh, we just kind of been camping out until they called us to give us a door. So me and Kane, we just kind of been camping out. I fed him breakfast, took him out for a bathroom break. Four, right 
there. As y'all can see, who's with us today? Kane Wayne. See, it's gonna be a little tricky. Got this truck right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait till uh, the creek carriers right here, straight ahead of us, uh, gets out the way. And then once he gets out the way, I'll be able to go ahead and back up to my door. Uh, really, ain't no point to try to back up to this door now and end up with a, a mess here. So. Max and 
controls for two months. That's unusual. I usually don't do my boy like that, but I've uh, been kind of busy lately. Haven't really had the time. And uh, winter time caught up to me quicker than I expected it to in the last couple weeks. So just kind of hoping around that I'd have a warm day to be able to do it at home with my pressure washer. Had any of those, so I figured uh, it's a holiday week, Thanksgiving week, so uh, this might be my last trip out and uh, for the week. So if it is, I'm done for the day or for the week, so don't really need to be in a rush to get home, so I might as well stop here and get my truck washed, um, but not sure, uh, dispatch hasn't reached out to me yet to let me know if they got me something going up the way or not, so here we are guys, uh, get the truck washed, we're in line, we're after this guy here. And, uh, yeah, boys. There's Kane. But, uh, yeah. I'll get you guys a little clip of uh, this truck wash. And, uh, also, boys, if you're ever out in the area and uh, you're coming through I-81, it's exit 291 truck wash right here beside the Loves across the street from the Pilot diagonally. Um, it's just a local mom and pop truck wash but let me tell you something boys. This place here will be any Blue Beacon truck wash I've ever been to. These guys really work. They work hard. And the best part of it all I believe is uh when you leave here, when you pull out of this building, where they wash you up at, they'll wait on you on the outside of the building, on the other side, and uh, they'll hand dry with towels. Uh, and that always gives the truck a real pretty shine finish. So, uh, yeah, definitely. If you guys are in the area, like I said, uh, Interstate 81, exit 291, Tom's Brook, Virginia. There's a truck wash here, you boys. You better check it out. These boys don't mess around. They get you. They send you up out of here clean, that's for sure. So, uh, I'll be back with y'all here shortly. We'll be next, guys. Six 
Got that dead. Close the doors down. I know y'all see the boy look clean. Get some tires shine on his tires. Trust him. Clean as hell. But uh, yeah, boys. <coughs> this probably gonna do it. video um, our mission is accomplished um, basically I mean, we haven't made it home yet right there, uh, yeah, boys, uh, appreciate you guys tuning in for another one
last weekend on some cars, maybe some stuff on the truck. Jared White on Old Jolly Pike. I try to get you guys some content, and uh, God bless you all.